Hi everybody and welcome to Enchanted Bayou. I hope everyone's been doing really good out there. I have been reading your comments and seeing all the nice things you have said so thank you so much I really appreciate that. And I also noticed that a few of you are asking to see me do someone in particular. I know that recently Aaron Carter has passed away and you guys want to reach out to Aaron Carter and make sure that he's doing okay and maybe even see if we could get the spirits to tell us what they thought about his death. We also want to make sure he is doing okay, that he's crossed over, does he need help crossing over. I have guides that will help us do that and help him get crossed over if he needs to do that. So we don't have to worry about that really necessarily on camera, but we just want to see if we can reach out and try and talk to his spirit. So that's what we're going to do today. Now, as far as guides go, what are guides, right? Everyone asks me, what are guides? They're kind of like guardian angels. I have two of them. Their names are Ethan and E. And basically, their job is to go and get whoever we want to talk to and bring them back here. Does it always work? No, sometimes it doesn't work. And if it doesn't work and you guys had been requesting a video on that, then that's probably the situation and the reason. Maybe I could find a way to give you guys some better updates, uh, maybe on Twitter. Well, if Twitter doesn't crash, we'll see how Twitter goes. But maybe I can start doing that on Instagram. So if you guys are asking for someone and asking for someone for us to try and talk to, then and I can't get a hold of them, then maybe I can give you updates on Instagram. Uh, let me know what you think about that idea. Now, before we get into talking to Aaron, I wanna go through a couple housekeeping rules if you're new here, and I'm sorry for everyone who is returning, I know you have to listen to me say this over and over in every video, but a lot of people will ask these questions and kind of wonder what we're doing here if I don't explain it. So we're going to go through housekeeping rules really quick. Uh, the first one, I don't cut and edit my spirit boxes. They're going to be loud and obnoxious, but I don't cut them. I want you guys to be able to hear everything that I'm able to hear, and you'll hear my spirit box uncut unless my camera dies or something crazy like that, which I think has only happened once that I've ever cut a spirit box. Unless I'm out on location doing some kind of a ghost hunt or something, but for these, I don't cut them. The next thing is I also have a professional review all of our videos uh, and spirit box sessions. He does that with me to make sure that everything that I'm hearing is correct. So he's done that for 10 years, not with me. He actually did that for 10 years in the Navy listening to radio noise as a linguist. The next housekeeping rule is don't worry if someone needs help crossing over that Ethan and E will cross them over at a later time. We don't have to worry about doing that on camera. They'll go ahead and they'll do that. And then the last housekeeping thing is that the spirit box that we're going to use, which is a PSB7 right here, and it's just attached with the regular cord. And I just use my old speaker to attach it and hook it all up so you guys can hear it louder because um, the speaker that comes with these, not very good. But spirit boxes suck. They're really loud, they're really obnoxious, they're really hard to listen to, but they can also be a really amazing form of communication between us and the spirit world. So I think that it's 100% worth it. I love doing spirit box sessions. You guys let me know what you think and maybe we could use different spirit boxes. I don't know if you guys wanna try using like Necrophonic or something else. Just let me know and maybe we could try some other spirit boxes out. But right now we go tried and true and this is the one that you'll see in all the ghost shows. Uh, this is the PSB7. This is the like the original best spirit box that's known to be out there. So that's pretty much with the housekeeping rules. Let's go ahead and stop talking and jump right into the spirit box session. We're going to ask Aaron a couple of questions first to see if we can verify that it's him and then we'll ask him the questions that we're all been waiting to hear about. So I'm going to go ahead set up the spirit box. I'll be right back. One quick thing before we get into the spirit box session that I want to talk about is I did want to talk a little bit about Aaron Carter and kind of the situation, everything that happened uh, before we get in the spirit box. That way maybe you'll understand why I'm asking some of the questions that I'm actually asking. So recently, and I'm saying within a couple hours ago, uh, his manager has come out and said that he was very frail 
and looked very weak and was not doing very good a couple of days before he was found dead. He was found dead on November 5th of this year. We don't have the toxicology reports back at the time of this video and the autopsy isn't being released. We do know that he has been cremated and he is with his sister. So she is looking after him. So that's at least good on that front. What we don't know though was was this intentional? We know that he had a problem uh, abusing drugs and was this an intentional death or was this an accident? Maybe it was, you know, he was just using but his body was too weak and too frail to handle his usage. So those are some of the questions that we're going to be asking and seeing what we can find out. So get the spirit box set up. Again, be right back. you guys but that sounded like Aaron's voice a lot a lot coming through now sometimes sometimes it's kind of hard to tell with the spirit box but that sounded like Aaron's voice a lot coming through I don't know if you're familiar with his voice much um, but yeah I'm really happy with that spirit box session Ethan was coming through Ethan's kind of a mm, a jokester 
and goofs around and stuff like that, but he does get the job done, and he said he was here to help. Um, I heard his voice over and over several times, so that's really good. I think it was a good spirit box session. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I just wanted to keep this one short. Yeah, because you guys requested it. I want to make sure that we got it done. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I am working on some more true crime spirit box sessions. I guess you could say where we do the story first, um, maybe an entire crime session story that's going to be a little bit longer, you know, 20-30 minutes longer, and then we do the spirit box at the end to say, to ask whoever was murdered, basically, who murdered them. So we're going to get into all that, get back into that. We've already done John Bonet, we've done um, Kurt Cobain, and I've got a lot of really good ones coming up. So don't forget to like and subscribe. It's free, by the way. It doesn't cost you guys anything. And also hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of the cool stuff coming up. So hope everyone's doing good. Sweet dreams.